Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This time we are going to talk about some cryptocurrencies that have solid applications and are based on the supply chain aspect of business and on the distribution process. This is a volatile time for cryptocurrencies as geopolitical events cause chaos in most markets. It is an uncertain time to be trading, but have confidence that once the issues have been resolved, the market will resume its recovery and continue to thrive. Until then, it is important to research what cryptocurrencies have the best potential for adoption because of utility and industry considerations. This video is made for precisely this purpose. So we will present two of the most important supply chain coins, which are VeChain and Hedera Hashgraph. You should be trading with the best, and Bybit is it. You will get a $1,600 bonus on Bybit when you register. Deposit and claim your bonus now. Check out the link in the description. Hello and welcome to Cryptopedia. I'm your gracious host, K7. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with all our great content. We will start with presenting VeChain. This is a blockchain platform that aims to improve supply chain management and its corresponding business process. It can streamline such processes and the information flow by using the distributed ledger technology. The stated objective of VeChain is to create a business ecosystem platform that allows high information transparency, efficient collaboration, and fast value transfers. The problem with supply chains is the data silos that reduce the number of stakeholders who can view it and hinder the information flow. The blockchain technology can solve this asymmetric information problem. The problem that is linked to a product, such as storage, transportation, and supply, can be made available to more stakeholders and improve transparency. The platform can track the production process from the manufacturing facility to retail and end consumer. This includes information such as raw material quality, authenticity, storage temperature, and transportation. Such detailed reporting is made possible by the use of smart chips or radio frequency identification or RFID tags that broadcast information that can be viewed in real time by stakeholders. The constant monitoring of parameters allows for some fast service improvements and better quality control that clearly surpass the processes that were available until now. The story of VeChain started in 2015 when it was founded by Sunny Liu in China. It started as a subsidiary of Bitsy, one of the largest blockchain companies in the country that already had a significant customer base. The token initially was called Ven and functioned on the Ethereum blockchain. In 2018, VeChain transferred from Ven token on the Ethereum blockchain to its own one called VeChain Thor or VET blockchain. To achieve its objectives, VeChain has initiated some strategic partnerships with several companies. One of the most prominent ones is PricewaterhouseCoopers, or PwC, that agreed to include the blockchain solutions for its client base for an improvement in product authentication and tracking. In addition, it has partnered with Renault for a digital car maintenance registry. It also is a technology partner of the central Chinese government to provide solutions for Guan, that is an important economic development zone in the country. The VeChain blockchain is intended for mass business adoption it has two tokens, VET and VTHO. The VET token functions as a store of value and it's used by the general public for transactions on decentralized applications. The VTHO token is called VeChain Thor Energy and it is used for paying fees in the case of creating smart contracts and conducting transactions. The concept is similar to Ethereum's Ether or NEO's Gas so that the developers have to budget some tokens in their decentralized applications to pay for fees so that the transactions can function normally. This system with two tokens was included for an effective governance and to support developers by improving predictability for fees on decentralized applications. The VeChain blockchain uses proof of authority as a consensus protocol. This means that the assignment of votes is done according to transparency and vet holdings. The holders without know your customer or KYC credentials and at least 1 million VET tokens are responsible for 20% of the votes. The holders with KYC and the same token requirements are assigned 30%. A number of 101 master nodes are responsible for arriving at a consumer on the blockchain. This contrasts with Bitcoin where all the nodes have to be in agreement for consensus. The disclosure of identity is a main requirement to become a master node, according to VeChain's white paper. The system requires fewer computational resources and does not need a minimum number of validators. The master nodes are the only centralized aspect in an otherwise decentralized system. 
The usability that VeChain has for logistics and tracking make it a potential solution to consider for the shipping, retail, manufacturing, and warehouse industries. Businesses that require a verified report of ownership through production, distribution, and other processes can reliably use VeChain for this purpose. The smart contract features allows users to track ownership and control any number of products. For example, a furniture manufacturer will be able to track the production process through shipping to the end consumer. Some possible applications can also be identified in the food and pharmaceutical industries. Here it is of utmost importance to know how a product is sourced and stored through several owners and facilities. It can also be useful for preventing counterfeit so that the consumer knows if a product is authentic or not. In the food industry, it becomes simpler to verify what additives and ingredients a product has. The founders of VeChain state that its objective is to allow communities, companies, governments, and individuals to move their business on the blockchain effortlessly without the requirement of technical knowledge. The transparency, wealth of information, and fast transaction confirmation make VeChain a capable and serious competitor in this sector. The possible applications are considerably more significant and on a greater scale than those of other cryptocurrencies. It is a solution that can change the functioning of this industry. Another cryptocurrency that has applications in the supply chain industry is called Hedera and runs on a distributed ledger system that is called a hash graph. Hedera is owned and backed by a conglomerate of some of the biggest companies in the world, including Google, LG, and IBM. It relies on a communication protocol that is different than a blockchain. This allows it to have faster transaction times, lower fees, and reduce computational requirements in comparison to other cryptocurrencies. The corresponding token to Hedera that is used as a currency is called HBAR. This is used to incentivize transaction validators to be active on the network and do their job properly. What is unique to this system is the gossip protocol that uses recent transaction histories of nodes to arrive at a very fast settlement times in comparison to the blockchain technology. In order to give you a better idea of the underlying technology of Hedera, that is the hash graph we should mention, that it is based on completely different principles than those of a blockchain. A hash graph is a data consensus algorithm that relies on concepts such as virtual voting and gossip about gossip to reliably achieve fast and secure transactions. A hash graph does not require mining to validate transactions. Instead, it uses something called a directed acyclic graph that sequences the transactions in time without separating them into blocks. The protocol called Gossip About Gossip allows sending information through the network. The nodes send data to random users with the history of previous transaction. This results in all the information circulating through the nodes as packets are sent. The hash graph is known for a speed that is superior to that of the majority of blockchains. The hash graph uses asynchronous Byzantine Fault Tolerance or ABFT algorithm to secure the network. The events are recorded correctly and the approach guarantees that the data can't be tampered even if they are bad actors. Hashgraph makes a slight change on this algorithm as it removes the leader format to protect from DDoS attacks on the network. The consensus algorithm is neither proof of work or proof of stake as it is the case in blockchains. Instead, virtual voting is used as a way to achieve consensus. The hash graph is also fully efficient because of this approach. In the case of a blockchain, if two blocks are mined at the same time, only one of them gets chosen and the other gets discarded. So some of the work of the miners is wasted. This leads to a less efficient network as the computational resources are not utilized to the fullest. A hash graph is concerned only with events and not with the actual block creation. This allows it to not be influenced by such problems. The blockchain is at a more advanced adoption stage than the hash graph. Because the blockchain is a decade old, it has the advantage of being the first to the market and has seen many attempts at improvement. The developers also have done some significant work on dApps and on smart contracts. It is possible to do a comparison between VeChain and Hedera. We should point out that Hedera is not open source, so not everyone can participate in its development, as is the case in a blockchain. The Hashgraph technology is patented by Swirls and requires a license to use it. Hashgraph is also not completely accepted in the blockchain community. It can be argued that VeChain has better security features. Hedera has no preventative measures for activities of malicious actors. The transaction history is limited to a short period of time. This contrasts with the blockchain where a full transaction ledger is available to all participants. 
it appears that VeChain is in a better position for increased adoption. It also has a smaller market cap, so it represents a bigger investment opportunity. Just remember that this is not a channel for investment advice, and you should do your own research, as buying cryptocurrencies carries some risks. This is all that we have for today, and a big thank you to all of you for watching. Let us know in the comments what do you think of the future of supply chain cryptocurrencies? Have you invested in one of them and how long do you plan on holding? Take care until next time. Thanks for watching Cryptopedia. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something from it, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. This was your gracious host, K7.